making uh, the use of information obtained in needs analysis as as you might remember we are talking about needs analysis and its place uh, in 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 the overall language curriculum design okay as as you might recall we have discussed various procedures involved uh, to conduct you know needs uh, analysis right so now the question is the information once we've got the information how we can make the best use of this information right what what decisions we can make and what choices we have to make the best use of this uh, information obviously uh, the information collector needs to be applied somewhere but where it needs to be applied okay this is the quest uh, let's have a look right so in order to you know be, uh, make the best use of the information obtained we need to prioritize the needs i mean the information the categories or the themes collected uh, with the help of some interviews, observation, or questionnaire. Right. So, the first and foremost one is which of the needs is more critical. Right. For example, if the students need grammar first, it could be their critical need. Right. Because they need survival grammatical structure. Right. And then we need to think which of the needs are important. Okay whether vocabulary is important or you know learning uh, verbs is important right and then we need to think which of the needs are des desirable so this is how i mean uh, we can make the best use of uh, you know and we've got immediate some immediate needs as well and then we've got longer term needs that could be uh, uh, for example, for uh, in the case of Im immediate needs, if uh, a group of learners want to pass IELTS test, they they are looking for a decent grade. So it could be their immediate need. So we 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 need to uh, think about and we need to be sure about the the overall impact of these needs. So we need to well, the whole point here is to just to prioritize the needs while you know making the best use of information op obtained through needs analysis okay uh, well as you might remember we uh, we touched upon this uh, issue before but briefly about the subjectivity and objectivity uh, and i think it's been best uh, and very precisely described by stuffel beam here that needs are the process of analysis and this process involves efforts that are thoughtful right that are predetermined that are informed by uh, existing literature right and the process which is systematic and carefully recorded i mean it's not the, that while making the best use of information we we can like uh, make it in an incoherent way rather we need a report which is coherent which is uh, systematic and which can be replicated and reviewed if someone else takes up that report and uh, reviews it so they might agree uh, they need to agree with with the findings of that specific report the the primary goal of analysis is to bring meaning to the op op information obtained right so this is how the task of the uh, analyst is just to give meaning to the collected information right how it can be interpreted so while interpreting the results we need to be cautious about the issue of subjectivity how as we have already seen how you know the analysis can be influenced by our personal ideology right okay uh, so while making the best use of information there is a format for the analysis what's the format then uh, the format actually revolves around uh, you know creating full document uh, describing uh, the deficiencies experienced by language learners and it could be in the shape of a short sum 
summary just outlining the needs of the learners right or it could be in the form of a meeting and a group discussion or a newsletter which just uh, highlighting some of the key issues critical issues or immediate issues uh, uh, faced by learners right so that's the format for uh, for analyzing information obtained okay there are different ways of uh, using uh, information obtained so what are these ways uh, the first one is we could evaluate the existing program i mean in while making the use of information we can uh, evaluate we can examine the existing program i mean we, what are the areas that needs to be strengthened and uh, or uh, where the learners need more uh, attention right and then we can also decide about whether to review the goals of the course overall or just to continue with the existing goals right and then we can also make Uh, the best use of this information in the form of uh, you know developing syllabus uh, or we can create some materials for the help of teachers right so there are different ways of uh, in summary there are different ways of using information obtained through uh, needs analysis uh, so these are like you know uh, uh developing syllabus primarily and then helping teachers uh to create materials for uh, for appropriate language teaching 